getting in to the loading screen, getting ready for new car Precinct TE. This is the quarterfinal, second game in the best of three between Denver and Dana. Welcome to the Go Frazier 2. By the way, my name is Sawagi. I'm casting for Poison TV, and hopefully you'll enjoy this game. Spawning a ball in the right position for my insanity. It is Dana as the pink sug, and his opponent spawning a bomb left position as the purple sug is P Lines Denver. And uh, right now, I'm actually wondering one thing, and actually I should probably give you the nice screen as well. There we go. Uh, I'm wondering one thing. When people choose pink and purple, is it just to annoy the casters, or is it actually uh, because they like pink and purple? You know, when both players like pink and one is faster than the, other, the others, they just say, oh, okay, I'm going to go for purple. Um, <laughs> or something like that, because it's actually really hard at times to, uh, to know which units are which, uh, just by judging on the color when they are pink and purple. And... Dana right now though, Dana, 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 the 9 pull down from Dana, this is going to be amazing. I'm not saying that Dana will just win or something, I just love seeing these aggressive plays. And right now Dana going for the 9 pull, can do so, so much damage and Denver is not going for the drone scout of course. With the Oval he will be able to scout this quite early. Oh he's just scouting to this point right now. And uh, this is actually quite weird they could see that. Uh, probably a bug or something, but anyhow, um, the spawning pool will finish quite early for Dana because of this in Denver. Will he go for the hatch first? That's a question. I don't think that's the case. He would have pulled uh, a drone in that case. Oh my god, no, he's going for the hatch first. This is just amazing for Dana because the nine pool is just a hot. Oh, wait, is he? Was he just scout scouting? What is Denver do doing? Is he going to place a proxy? He's playing. <laughs> He's placing a proxy hatchery. Denver is placing a proxy hatchery in the third base location. And Dana, he's going for a nine pool. This is the worst kind of build I've ever seen uh, from a star player who's going to hold a nine pool. And he doesn't know about it yet. This is so terrible for Denver. I feel so bad for him at this point. Can he even hold this? That's a question. Oh my god, Denver. He's going to go for the next hatchery. It's a two It's a two hatchery before pool in a ZVC on two player map against a nine pool. Denver, 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 I feel so bad for you at this point. And Dana behind this is getting his hatchery, but when he scouts this, he's going to be so happy when he sees there's no pool down. And he can do so much damage, and when Denver scouts this, he's going to be so, so, so mad at himself for choosing that build. And here we go, Denver will scout so many links, attacking his hatchery. The question though, will Dana uh, do enough damage in time? That's the question, he will kill this hatchery off. But the, remember, the third hatchery, or the second hatchery rather, of Denver is still uh, alive and well, and he will try to cancel this in time. No cancel for Denver, that is quite a big misstep, and oh, there we go, actually typing it out as well. He knows it's a big mistake, but he does know as well, he has another base, he must survive. Nice micro on the drones, he might get us around, killing off one of the links already. And look at that, it's such a nice micro from both the players, and oh great, great, great surround here by the drones. Look at that, but killing off so many drones is Dana and GG from Denver, well played. <laughs> and Denver says it, third hatch. Um, third hatch, so just amazing play and just dancing around quite a bit here. And there we go. A GG from Denver. Dana takes it 2-0 against Denver. Just amazing play here. Wow.